Hello everybody, welcome to another review. Today I just grabbed a copy of Komodo's latest version, that's 5.9, and the distinct face. As we know, Komodo is a free AV and it does pretty well. In fact, it's the piece of security of the year, so I use it on my own host machine. So I decided to give it an ultimate test. Now we've got pretty good links over here, malware links that are pretty fresh and really low detection rate. Like some have got 5 out of 40 engines and stuff like that. And we've got all the tools over here. We've just installed Komodo Internet Security, the latest version, and we've got Hitman Pro, Malwarebytes, Kill Switch, and MCSoft Emergency Toolkit. So, and if you guys are watching this review, please watch the next one, because I'll be doing the same uh, kind of review with MCSoft, and we'll uh, really turn it into a versus kind of a competition. So I hope uh, you can watch the next one, and you can compare how the products did. Now, interface-wise, Komodo has always been pretty simple interface. It kind of looks outdated nowadays, uh, this simple kind of interface, but it's really easy to use, and it doesn't look that good, someone might say, but uh, I guess it gives you all the settings, and the good part is it's really user-friendly, and it lets you do what you want exactly. It, uh, like that day we saw we had some issues with Bitdefender. Uh, it wasn't allowing me to allow certain programs, but Komodo is really easy to use, and if you want to exclude any file or anything like that, it's really easy. You can add it here, and you can really send any of these files to trusted files, and that basically just makes the files trusted. And as you can see, there are so many files by default that have been trusted. And it really helps the users uh, do a decent amount of job on their own, and it really gives a lot of control to the users. Yeah, you are going to get a little more alerts, but that isn't much of a problem. So let's check out some more features. Now, uh, talking about alerts, Komodo does give uh, some more alerts than most other programs, but they've got added some settings in the new version that if you use this to not show pop-up alerts and stuff like that, you can se select default action that it's going to take and it's not going to alert you. But I wouldn't recommend that and it doesn't come enable. Uh, when you're using an AV, you that respond to some alerts at least. So this is basically the Defense Plus, which is something really innovative of Komodo and they've added. And this is why they do very well. And basically what it does is it scans the behavior of the application and it's kind of heuristic intrusion prevention system. And you've got these execution control settings and the sandbox, which basically runs applications in a virtual environment. Kaspersky have got that. Many applications have got a sandbox, even a VAS, but the Komodo sandbox is, I think, one of the best, and it really uh, works pretty efficiently, unlike the other applications. That day we saw in a VAS, uh, the sandbox wasn't running most of the time. Most of the applications were just let through, but Komodo basically sandboxes everything that it doesn't know. So it's a lot higher in terms of security. So we'll see how it does. We've got pretty good links over here, and it, they should give Komodo a really good test. So we'll see about that. And as far as the new version is concerned, uh, it's basically the internal program might be different, but the looks and all that is pretty much the same, so not much to talk about. And this is the firewall that comes with the free version. And you've got this Trust Connect. That's something new in the last few versions. Now, by default, it comes with Do Not Show Pop-Up Alerts and basically allows requests. Now, I'm going to test it in default. I'm not going to mess with any of settings. Now, you can select here your alert frequency level. If you want lots of alerts, you can set it here. And it basically will tell you about everything. But if you're a new user, you don't want alerts, then you can obviously set it to low and let it take its own decision. So I'm going to leave it in stock settings. I'm not going to mess with anything at all. 
So I guess uh, I will start the testing. Before that, I'll just show you that database is up to date. There you go. It's updated. I just haven't done a full scan yet. Now these are all the default settings. I haven't messed with anything at all. So we'll see how it does. And if it does pretty poorly, we can say maybe <laughs> it might not be the piece security next time. But as far as I know, it's supposed to do pretty well. But this review is as new to me as to you guys, so I don't know anything about it. So we'll see how it does. Now let's check out the memory usage over here. And this is the basic process Komodo agent. It's taking about 4 megs at right now. And uh, I think it has one more. Or no, I guess it's just the one process. Okay, let's make sure. I think it's one process, but let's just make sure. Yeah, so I think it's just one, and that's taking up about 4 megs. So it's really, really light on the system. That's what I like the most about Komodo. It doesn't you know, eat up your RAM or CPU usage pretty smooth. If you run high CPU usage applications like games and stuff, it's really helpful. It doesn't bother you much, and uh, it really takes a really low RAM usage. It drops to around 3 to 4 megs, so your other applications can run with almost all the RAM, so that's good. So let's get testing. So here we've got about 16 or something like that links. So we'll test out all of them. It's just so that as Komodo is the piece security of the year, of course, it has to give the hardest test, no doubt. And all these links are pretty low detection, so we'll see how it does. So that's the first link. Making sure that everything's enabled. Yep, everything's enabled, default settings. Of course, I could change some of the Defense Plus settings and increase the security level and all that, and maybe it would do a lot better. But that's not what most users would do, so that's why I'm going to test it in absolutely stock settings, no changes. So that's the first link. I think uh, this is uh, a virus website, but I don't know whether it's directly a virus or it has some links to something. Might be just something fake, but Komodo didn't block that. So that's not very good for Komodo because it had a pretty high detection. Not really high, but somewhat. And I guess it has something to do with Outlook Express and some kind of exploit or something. Uh, so we won't be doing that. But we'll try the next link. At the end, we'll see if uh, any infections have gotten through. We won't count these websites because I'm not sure how exactly, OK, a threat has been detected. Now, this is something new that they ask you if you want an expert. I haven't installed GeekBuddy and the Dragon Browser because I want to see how the core program does. So now, this is what they tell you, that if you have a threat, you can ask their experts to clean it. I'm not going to do that, of course. OK, so it's quarantined. OK, so one virus has uh, been detected by Komodo and quarantined automatically. That's good. That reduces alerts. But personally, I think I like the alerts more. OK, so that's the second one. Let's run it, see if it gets through. Okay, looks like uh, that one got through Komodo, and we didn't see the sandbox popping up either. So, okay, no, it didn't get through, and then finally it's got. So that's detected as well. That's pretty good. Let's just make sure nothing's running. No. So yeah, let's just start up till switch and see if anything strange running in the background. Okay, well, I'll till switch. OK, so while that's starting, let's try the next link. Let's just wait for it to start here. OK, here we go. Go 
Commodore Switch is also manufactured by Commodore, so I don't think there's much of point letting it do scans and stuff, but I mean, at least we can see the process and know what's running. So that's why I started it. Okay, so this link uh, looks like it's opening. I'll wait for that. Doesn't seem like anything's happening over there. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't know who, whether this uh, malicious website or anything, so we'll just try the next one. Okay, it's PDF file. Let's save it. I'll try to open it. Something. Uh, I guess I need a dog breeder for that, but if uh, it's infected and if Komodo didn't detect it, then I guess it's a miss. We'll see if the other engines detect it. Okay, this is quite a big file. Let's try the next one while that's running. Okay, so this one was uh, quarantined by Komodo. Okay, we'll run this. And it looks like it's gotten through. No, not exactly. Now, this is uh, the Komodo Defense Plus Alerts. It's pretty clear, I think. Uh, could be recognized. So it says basically is that it doesn't recognize the application and it wants access to all the stuff on my computer now. What I could do is I could block it and just stop it from running or I could hit the sandbox. Now I don't know whether it what it is and uh, what it is not. So just uh, Komodo just says that it couldn't be recognized. Now that's not enough criteria to block it. So I'll just sandbox it. Okay, so here we go. Kill switch got the process. Now something's happening. Now maybe it got sandbox. That's why it didn't do anything. So let's try next one. Okay, this is strange. Uh, I don't know whether this, what kind of virus is that, but we'll try next one. Now, in the next review, I'll use the same links against MCSoft Online Armor, which is their highest product, and we'll see how that does. So, we're basically comparing the two suites here, Komodo and Net Security. Of course, MSoft is a paid product and it's free. But still, uh, we'll see how they do. And we'll see if uh, MSoft actually beats Komodo. Now, this has been quarantined. Now, if you click on hide these alerts, it won't even alert you about the quarantines, but that's not what I want, so I'm going to just let it stay that way. Okay, so it looks like that one was quarantined as well. Okay, we'll run that. Now, some of these are really low detection rates, like 3 or 4 out of 40, and they might be false positives as well, so I'm not that sure. So we'll do a scan with all the other engines, and we'll see if they find anything, and only then we'll count it against Komodo, because some might be false positives also. Okay, so that form looks like it was blocked. Okay, that one's blocked as well. Okay, we'll run that. Okay, we'll hit install and see what it does. No, it didn't get that. Okay, this last one there was really low detection rate. I don't know whether it's a false positive or is it really a virus. 
We'll see. Okay, so that one's running. This one's running. Okay, so uh, this was isolated by Komodo. Okay, but still it seems to be doing some kind of damage and it's now letting me close it. Okay, so it's kind of like... So, uh, yeah, it's a lot of stuff running here. But we'll see. Now we have tried all the links over here and Komodo seems to suggest that it's done what it's supposed to do. Now my system's clean, so I'll just uh, basically what I'm going to do is I'll disable the AV, and then I'm going to run a scan with Hitman Pro. So I'll be back. Okay, so okay, so this uh, false positive. But what I like about Komodo is that even when it gives you something like false positive, for example, right now I got one. So you can easily just add it to trusted files and then it won't detect it anymore. Okay, so it's already quarantined. So I'll we'll have to first uh, get it out of quarantine. Okay. Okay, here we go. So we'll restore this. And then I'm just going to add it to trusted files. Okay, there we go. Now it's not going to add, give me all these alerts and stuff. So, I mean, that's pretty good as far as Komodo's user interface is concerned. So, we'll do a full scan and I'll be back with the results. So, see you guys then. Welcome back everybody. As you can see, Hitman Pro just finished scanning and it's found two things. Now this one it wanted to upload to the web, but for some odd reason it couldn't. Maybe because it was uh, already quarantined or something by Komodo, I don't know. But uh, so it didn't give a virus rating to this one because it couldn't upload it. But as far as I know, I think this is a virus, but I think it's located in temporary internet files, so I can't exactly, it's not a major infection. Now, the second link is also located in temporary internet files, and it's a risk square. So uh, I do admit this is a miss by Komodo, but it's not exactly, you know, a major system infection because it's found in temporary internet files and on restart or if I would run something like CCleaner, it would be deleted itself. So, but still it could run and it could infect the system, so this is a miss by Komodo. And so we'll clean it up. Okay, so uh, I've not activated my license. Anyway, so that's just... We'll get the trial and we'll, okay, so I guess I have to activate it, but I guess I'll do that and I'll remove this file and then we're going to do a scan with Malwarebytes and I'll be back with the results from Malwarebytes, so see you guys then. Welcome back everybody, Malwarebytes just finished scanning and as you can see it's found two things, now let's see what they are. Now. Now this is an adware that we've got in, let's say, temporary net files. I think it's the same one that Hitman Pro got because I wasn't able to remove that with Hitman Pro. Uh, for some odd reason I could activate my license. So, I mean, uh, it's the same one, so we won't count that again against Komodo. And the second one is a registry key. Now, this is something that I would say is a miss. Now, a registry key is uh, also one kind of an infection, and Komodo can prevent that. Now, but that's something that I'd really like uh, Komodo to integrate in their newer application, some kind of registry scanner that actually scans for registry keys that have been modified by malware. So far, I don't think they have anything like that. So that's one kind of miss, but I mean, still, Komodo has done really okay, so we need to restart, so we'll do that. 
And after the restart is done, I'm going to do a scan with Hitman Pro. Uh, sorry, not with Hitman Pro. We've already done that. I'll do a scan with MSoft, and I'll be back with the results. But as far as I'm concerned, Komodo has done really well because the links were really low detection, and Komodo nearly got all of them, just a couple of misses. And they also were confined to temporary internet files. They couldn't get into, let's say, System 32 or MSET's location because they were sandboxed. So that's really a good performance by Komodo. So it uh, still remains to be one of the best applications for security right now. But we'll see how MCSoft does, and then we're going to compare. Not right now. So let's just do a scan with MSoft Emergency Toolkit. Okay. So I'll do an update and a scan, and I'll be right back with the results. So see you guys then. Welcome back, everybody. MCSoft just finished scanning, and it says it's found one thing that's a malware trace or a tracking cookie. So it's not exactly an infection, I would say, but some kind of thing. So we'll remove that. And since it also didn't detect this PDF file, we're going to do a specific scan with uh, MCSoft of this PDF file. We'll just add you know, our desktop and we'll just scan our desktop, I guess. Okay, it's going to scan memory first. Well, I guess I get made it scan traces again. So we'll just end that and we'll do another scan. Uh, of course, we don't want to do these scans because we've already done that. Let's take this heuristic scan for unknown malware. And uh, now let's do just one more scan. Okay, so here we go. It's found this one thing. Now this is, let's see, okay, it's just Hitman Pro, so it's false positive. So it basically also missed this uh, 143E7.pdf, which I think is a piece of malware. So we're just going to upload it to Varstool, just to be sure, because it was missed by Hitman Pro, Malware Bytes, and also MCSoft. So we'll just upload it to Firestall, and I'll be back with the results of Firestall. See you guys then. Welcome back, everybody. I just can upload it to Firestall because of some problems with my connection. I'll do it the next time when we'll be testing MCSoft Online Armor. So let's just finish up this review by scanning uh, the 90 files that we have here. Uh, they're quite old, but I guess they should be fine we'll, because they're pretty low detection files, and we'll do a scan with MCSoft in the next review, and we'll compare detection rates. So let's just do a scan with Komodo. And let's just zoom up calculator so that we can find the detection rate. Okay, so there were 90 files. Let's see how many Komodo gets. Sorry about the noise. It's just I've lost my power, and my uh, UPS is making that strange noise that you can hear. Just to let you guys know, right now I just got news that Komodo has released a new version that's 5.10. We'll be testing that some other time, so this is just 5.9 test. OK, 
Okay, so I'll be back from Afghanistan. Welcome back, everybody. Komodo just finished scanning, and it's found these 86 things. Now we'll just clean all of these, and we'll see how many it missed. Okay, so that's it, and we'll see how many files are left over. So we've just got, well, pretty less, I think. We've just got eight files left over from there, and so we'll see how much detection ratio that gives us. So 91.1%, which is uh, pretty impressive. Uh, not the very best, but it's pretty good. And let's try to run off some of these files and see what Komodo does. Okay, there you go. It's sandboxed. And thus, it couldn't do any much damage, hopefully. Okay. Okay, there you go. Defense Plus has got that one. So again, we're going to sandbox it. Okay, there you go. It doesn't run in sandbox. So again, it's sandboxed and it won't be able to do much damage. So basically, uh, as you guys know, Komodo sand has this amazing sandbox and behavior monitoring ability that really helps it. But this one got through somewhat. So it still has some loopholes, but I guess it does pretty well. And I guess it deserves to be the piece security of the year. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed the review, and please uh, watch the next review. There will be uh, on MCSoft using the same links and all the same malware. I just didn't do it in this video because it would make it really long. So we'll do a complete review of MCSoft online armor with the same links and the same malware, and we'll see how that does. So please stay tuned and watch the next review. And... Uh, as far as final bird verdict on Komodo is concerned and this review, well, it did do uh, really well. I would like them to integrate some kind of registry scanner or something like that. And maybe just uh, that's uh, it because they're really one of the best security suites right now. And, well, they've got a lot of features and a really good detection ratio that we saw, 91.1. And as we had compared it with Bitdefender and Fast and other security suites, it turned out to be really good because they were getting close to 70s and 80s. Well, this is way above 90. So I guess Komodo is uh, continuing to build great AV products. And as far as I'm concerned, it's going to remain the peace security of the year. But MCSoft is also one of leading AV manufacturers right now, and we'll see how they do. And we'll be interesting. We'll be interesting to, to see actually if they're able to beat Komodo. So please watch the next review because we'll be using the same links and the same folder of malware. So that should give us an idea of how Komodo stands with respect to MCSoft. So as far as just Komodo is concerned, they're still doing as good as they used to do, and. So if, and they've got a really good performance impact. They've got really less performance impact. It's really good. Right now, it's, again, okay, I forgot. It also uses CFP, so it wasn't that low. So still, I mean, it's about 10 meg, so it's still a really low memory usage, which is really good. So Komodo actually did pretty okay. Not okay, it did pretty good. Great. I'd probably give it somewhere near a 9.5 out of 10, so I guess that's it for this review. Have a nice day.